Here's a quick rundown of all the ranks in the SAF and what they mean. When you enlist, you're a recruit. You get disrespected by every rank. Your whole head is cut to number one. Just get used to being the second lowest life form. After BMT, you choose three paths as if it's a skill three in Path of Exile. Become a man, a specialist, or an officer. If you choose the first path, you will get these ranks. A private gets arrowed all the time. Since you still have no rank, you get the most Saikang. A last corporal has the protection of the dome with a downward pointing chevron to get arrowed. A corporal has two downward chevrons to get arrowed twice as much as a lance corporal. A corporal first class has additional dome protection. This is where it ends for you if you don't go to command school. Let's say you want to become a surgeon. You will go through six months of being the lowest life form, a specialist cadet. After six months, you become a third sergeant. You have three arrows, meaning you get arrowed three times as much as a lance corporal. But guess what? You don't even have protection from the top. For a few lucky NSFs, they can become a second sergeant. Finally, you got one rooftop as protection. If you sign on, you can reach first sergeant. Great job for becoming a regular. You now have two rooftops as protection. Now, this is where it gets interesting. If you're a staff sergeant, you will get a shield as a new form of protection. After that, you'll become a master sergeant with another rooftop protection. People better properly count that third rooftop because if they call you staff, you can ask them to knock it down. Here come the warrant officers. They look very different. As a third warrant officer, you have rice bowl protection due to long service. There's a shield at the bottom to protect you from arrows. However, that roof over your head is looking pretty thin. That's why you need to become a second warrant officer to get a thicker roof. Not enough? Become a first warrant for another roof. Not enough? Become a master warrant officer for another roof. Not enough? Become a senior warrant officer for another roof. You want that icing on the top? Become a chief warrant officer for four super thick roofs. Wow, thanks for serving the army all the way till your 50s. Surely no one can knock you down, right? Stop. Remember that third path we didn't talk about? That's right. Officers are higher than any of these regulars. You have these antics in their 40s calling men half their age, sir. These ossifers technically can punish them despite not signing on to the army. That sounds great. Tell me more, John. Well, you become the lowest life form as an officer cadet for 9 months. After that, you become a second lieutenant. This chocolate bar is solid protection. For some NSFs, you can become a lieutenant where you get another chocolate bar for more protection. After you sign on, you become a captain. Three chocolate bars can be used as protection from getting arrowed. After that, you can become a major. This crab shield helps you to not get arrowed. Not enough? Become a lieutenant colonel for another crab shield. There's actually another path in the skill tree here. If you become a senior lieutenant colonel, you have a rice bowl protection with your two crab shields. The other path is to become a colonel. With three crab shields, you rarely get arrowed. That's about it for the game. But do you want to become a superstar? Well, you have these ranks. You can't get arrowed. I won't speak about them because you won't reach these. If you're somehow these ranks and watching this video, I'll be shook. And then you have the highest rank in Singapore, which is civilian.